In this tab, you'll set the deposit rules for online bookings made through the Book Now button. Deposit rules set here will override those set against a rate, giving you the option of seeking a higher deposit amount for online bookings versus deposits for bookings taken directly. Set up to five tiers of deposit rules depending on the number of days between when the booking was made and the arrival date. For example, you might choose to increase the deposit amount for reservations with a short lead time and a lower deposit for reservations well into the future. The deposit can be an amount, a percentage of the total rate, or equal to the first night's rate. Some examples are shown below to explain the impact of your deposit rule choices. If you do not set deposit rules in this tab, and there are no deposit rules set against the applicable rate, RMS will collect 100% of the total rate as a standard deposit each time an online reservation is made. If you use the RMS Aggregated Merchant Facility, or you have an account with an RMS Online Payment Gateway Partner, the amount of the deposit is automatically processed, subject to the rules you've set in this tab. You can choose not to collect a deposit at all by checking this box. If so, you must choose one of the three options for dealing with credit cards. No credit card capture will bypass the payment screen altogether and the guest will not be required to enter credit card details. Just to be clear, this option allows a guest to make a reservation that is not secured with a credit card. RMS Vault requires the guest to enter credit card details to secure the reservation. However, no payment is taken. The card details are safely stored by RMS. You can access the card details securely through an online portal with your username and password. Process the deposit manually through your credit card pin pad prior to arrival or at the time of check-in. Own Gateway requires that you have an account with one of the RMS Online Payment Gateway partners. Guests enter their credit card details at the time of making a reservation. The card is then authorised and tokenised. You can use the token to process a deposit prior to arrival. You can also use the token to make subsequent payments and refunds. To learn more about the Vault or Payment Gateways, follow the links in the description of this video. The next video in this series discusses payment options and fees.